Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to take a look at the latest patch 1.8.86 that just arrived. The file size is decently large, coming at 14.6 gigabytes, which is not too bad for you guys on Xbox. Now what I'll be doing in today's video is I will be giving you a comparison between the old patch and the newest patch with DLSS. Not only that, but I'm also going to be discussing some of the bugs that they have patched. But guess what? It's not enough because... There is a bunch of things right now that they do need to fix that's currently causing some issues, but we'll get into that. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just dive right into this. Let's start off by discussing the patch notes because right here you can tell that it says Starfield Update 1.8.86 notes. And yes, this is on the Bethesda.net site, so it is official. If we go down, we already knew about the NVIDIA DLSS support and the let them eat, which if you do not know what this is exactly, well, what this allows you to do is consume an item on the ground without opening up the inventory menu, which is just a quick way to do so, right? For the next part where it says fixes and improvements, I do not want to waste your time too much here with performance and stability because we are going to get into that shortly. But if you take a look at some of the things here, we already went over this previously in the beta patch. For example, the added the ability to eat food placed in the world, adjusted still to be a bit more forgiving. Now these are just some examples of what I'm talking about, but if we go towards the middle here, you will see this right here that says, fixed an issue where some NPCs could not be seen wearing clothing. Note, this issue may resolve itself over time. So pretty much with this, you're going to have to just continuously play and then eventually it will just fix itself, I guess. I don't know how that works, but it's developer stuff. With that being said, let's go ahead and just read the rest of the things that the developers have said. For example, the developers have said right here, fixed an issue where already in progress skill challenges could stop progressing after reaching the Unity and starting a new game. Fixed an issue that could temporarily prevent opening the inventory or saving after enter the Unity. PC fixed an issue where mouse movement could be choppy. Now the next bug I'm sure most of you are going to be excited about because I know some of you have actually experienced this. Right here it says, fixed a rare issue that could cause the home ship to be lost. If you guys did not know, this was a huge problem where you would land on a planet and then your ship would just fly away. So really, you're just on the planet like it's interstellar or something, right? Uh, except interstellar did not have a, a ship that flew away. It was some... I, I can't ruin this story, really, but that's an awesome movie, by the way. But this is pretty much in, in the same regards. You would just be lost on a planet and you would have to find a way off the planet. Uh, but really... That's good that that's been fixed. They've also fixed an issue where the ship service technician might be missing, which is another huge addition to the bug fixes. And then right here for the last one, it says, fixed an issue where occasionally the camera could shake incorrectly during traveling, grab jumping, docking, or landing transitions. Moving on towards graphics, this is really just going to improve a lot of things in terms of shaders, optimizations, brightness, contrast, HDR brightness, I mean, they've also fixed probably the crazy eyes that you would see from some of the NPCs. For example, right here it says, improve the appearance of the eyes on crowd characters. I would automatically assume that's definitely the one where they would give you that weird glare. I'll try to throw a few in this video so you get an example. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But then if we go towards the bottom here, it says addressed a number of minor visual issues related to lighting, shadow, terrain, and vegetation, which is another good one. And then if we go down to quest, this is where we really need to talk about, okay? The first thing that I do want to say just before I get more into this, I absolutely think the developers did a stellar job when it comes down to focusing on these bugs and fixing them. But here's the problem, is that there's a huge, huge issue with a bunch of main missions and I'm going to talk about it here shortly so that you know exactly what's going on. Before we get into that, let's take a look at what they fix specifically when it comes down to main missions. So for the quest part, you can see that all money can buy has been fixed, as well as no sudden moves. For all that money can buy, it says right here, fixed a rare issue where players couldn't sit during the negotiation with Musgrove. Then if we head down below where it says no sudden moves, Go towards the right, it says, fix an issue that could prevent the entrance door to the scout ship from being open again. So as for the rest of the quest here, you can see that most of these are pretty much faction quest or side quest. We can see that Blast Zone, Echoes of the Past, Eye of the Storm, Grunt Work, Operation Starseed, Sabotage, Short Sighted, and last but not least, the Heart of Mars have all been resolved. Now there is some good news and some bad news. Obviously the good news is that they have fixed a good portion of the faction missions and missions in general, but the problem is there's quite a few main missions out there that are currently bugged. 
If you guys do not know what they are, I will list them right here. The information that you're about to see comes straight from Bethesda.net, the support section of their site, and what it says right here is Revelation Main Mission Dash Starfield. There is a problem right now where you cannot hail towards the Helix ship, so overall you're kind of stuck in a really awkward situation where you cannot go anywhere. And that is going to be resolved in a future update, which we all do not know when that's coming, so that's kind of bad news right there. But let's go on and read the next one. Right here it says, Into the Unknown Main Mission. What they have resolved and will be in the next update is pretty much there would be the visual distortion, right? That you could see where you need to go using the scanner. Well, that would not show you exactly where you need to go, or what may happen is that there will be a permanent thing that says, you know, you need to go to dot dot dot, right? Continuing on towards the next main mission that they have fixed, which is going to be high price to pay, but it's not in the current update. They have resolved an issue where pretty much if you try to escape towards your ship, the elevator would not open. Pretty much, you're not able to leave the mission area, so you're kind of stuck there with the uh, one of the uh, Starborns. There's really no option to leave. And last but not least, they have not resolved the mission right here, which is the Old Neighborhood. This mission specifically is still being investigated, and there's not been any comments whether or not it has been resolved yet, which is why I'm saying it's not been fixed. And this right here is pretty much a big bug that would not allow you to talk to one of the NPCs. I will not get into it specifically just to avoid spoiler reasons. But that is not fixed at all. At all. So it's going to be one of those bugs that you might experience right now, even, even after the latest patch. This is pretty much it when it comes down to the main mission. So there's a total of four bugs that are still broken right now. If you have been experiencing something else, let me know down below and we'll talk about it. Pretty much this is a decent amount of bugs. That's a total of four, but it's good because it would have been a total of six if they did not fix the other issues. There is one thing to note here is that these are just the main missions. I'm not talking about some of the ones that are bugged for a side quest or the faction missions. Those ones are currently messed up. Of course, they have fixed a good portion of the ones that I just listed a few minutes ago, but there is a bunch more out there like the main missions that are just currently bugged. Alrighty, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the bugs that some of you out here have been experiencing. For example, this Reddit user named Tank underscore Dog had this to say. He said, game breaking bug, after downloading the latest patch, the game freezes when I try to open up the hand scanner when I'm at my settlement. I'm on PC slash Steam, I disabled my mods, verified integrity of files, tried a previous save, this seems to only happen at my settlement. I went to another planet where I didn't have a setting, and it worked fine. Now this appears to be broken right now for this fella, and there's also some other issues going on. Apparently when they said that they fixed Heart of the Mars, apparently it's not been fixed yet, because this user right here has been experiencing some bugs after the latest patch. Scyther Shorts says right here, Heart of Mars still bugged. Anyone else running into this have never been able to mine this, and I went back after today's patch, and that's still the case. I'm on Xbox, so no other solutions. This sucks, and yeah, that definitely does. There is no fix currently, except for what they released, and apparently some out here are still experiencing some issues. Next, we're gonna take a look at a DLSS bug going around right now that's kind of like an acid trip, if you had to ask me. But what you see on here is a bunch of lines and swirls and weird things going on, and yeah, this is currently a bug, but guess what? You can fix it, and how do you do so what you need to do is open up the command inside the game and type down set beat clamp auto exposure to one the original poster of this is going to be onyx 915 he definitely helped out me with this so if you are experiencing this exact issue just remember open up command prompt and set the exposure and now continuing on towards the last one that i would like to talk about because this reddit user named secret dash agent dash t3 said this right here New patch does not fix asteroid bug, empty ship bug, or Sam quest super disappointing. Now I'm not going to read the rest of this, but what I wanted to do is pretty much pinpoint something out. This patch right here is not going to fix those issues. That's going to arrive at another patch. If you guys have not checked out one of my previous videos, I actually go over this information specifically. The whole entire asteroid bug is going to be fixed in a future update. I will leave a link right here, or actually a uh, screenshot here, so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The developers even mention it within this post, which you can find over at Bethesda.net, the support section uh, part of the site. So this is pretty much what's going on right now, and those other issues will not be resolved until a future update, which 
Well, when will that be? Who even knows? Because I'm sure they're going to update the beta patch a little bit more over, you know, the next few months. I would assume, and if that's the case, hopefully some of these are going to be fixed as well. Now, here's my question to all of you, since we're all on the same patch, both Xbox and PC players. Is this enough, or is it just too late for Bethesda to fix some of the issues? Well, here's the thing. Cyberpunk started off pretty rough, if we all can be honest here. And the game is, uh, it's, it has some issues right now, right? There's some bugs still currently available, but the game is absolutely fun. It's stellar, and they've done a great job in terms of fixing a lot lot of issues. And by the way, when I mean bugs, I'm not talking about something that's going to ruin your save, like Starfield has some of those bugs. Well, with this game, I think Starfield has another chance at it. I think they have another chance at redemption. So we'll see exactly how things turn out. I'm interested again, what you guys think. Talk to me down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I will definitely reply back if I can, because I try to catch up on these comments. There's a lot. There's about a hundred comments, which to some that's probably not a lot but for me that's a lot anyways thank you guys so much for the support and i'll see you all in the next video